Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooks Bank were among the absentees from the Queen's Christmas lunch today. The couple are believed to have been too unwell to attend the event at Buckingham Palace today, which would have been their first as a married couple. It comes a day after the Princess of York attended a late-night charity film premiere of Sharkwater Extinction at the Curzon Soho in central London. Joining the likes of Cressida Benes and Holly Branson, Eugenie had seemed in good health during the screening but both she and Jack are thought to have become unwell overnight. Eugenie's sister, Princess Beatrice, was in attendance today, arriving at the palace wearing the same coat she had been seen wearing while out with friends at Annabelle's Mayfair the night before. Eugenie and Jack were not the only royals to be struck down by illness on Wednesday with Camilla so forced to pull out. The Duchess of Cornwall is suffering from a heavy cold Clarence House has confirmed and it is believed to be the reason she was not at Buckingham Palace on Wednesday. The 71-year-old royal has also cancelled an appearance at the Olympia Horse Show this evening. Her husband the Prince of Wales was seen arriving at Buckingham Palace alone this afternoon where he joined other members of the royal family for lunch. The annual event today provides the monarch with the opportunity to spend time with members of the extended family who will not be joining her at her Norfolk estate, as well as senior royals. Staff have been busy giving Buckingham Palace a festive makeover, with impressive fir trees have erected in the Marble Hall earlier this month. The trees, which were grown in Windsor, were adorned with royal-themed hangings while a traditional garland decorated with baubles has been put up along the grand staircase. The Queen no doubt has ensured that Buckingham Palace looks the part as she hosts members of the royal family as part of her annual pre-Christmas lunch. The traditional lunch at the palace usually takes place midweek, shortly before the royal family head to Sandringham for the 25th. The Queen and her family usually wait until the day before Christmas to decorate their tree at Sandringham House in Norfolk, gathering in the white drawing room on Christmas Eve to put the finishing touches to a 20-feet tree cut from the estate. 